Hi everyone. So I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to register and use Wandu Reader, which is going to be the new tracking software that we are going to be using this summer for the Fraser Public Library Summer Reading Club. This software is optional. You don't have to use Wandu Reader. If you would prefer to use a paper tracker, that's perfectly fine as well. What we will do is at that time, we'll slip a paper tracker into any orders that you request through curbside pickup. Now, I'm going to get started by uh, sharing my screen with all of you so that you can see what I'm seeing and we can walk through this together. So let me share my screen really quick. All right, there we go. So this is our homepage for Fraser Public Library. And to get to our Summer Reading Club, what you're gonna do is go to Resources, scroll down till Summer Reading Club Registration, and you're gonna click on there. Um, it's gonna take a little bit to load because my internet is a little slow today, sorry guys. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down and you'll see underneath this intro that we have, adult, child, toddler, teen, and family registration. Please choose whichever one that you want to. Family registration is really going to be for those individuals that are going to be registering more than one child or more than one adult for the Summer Reading Club, or a child and an adult. It can be any way you want to do it. And family registration makes it so that all of the notifications and things go to one email address. That way you're not having to deal with multiple email addresses at that time. If you are just going to have one person sign up for the Summer Reading Club, like one teen or one child, you're going to click on that registration link instead. Now, if you want to know what events we're doing and what prizes, you can also scroll down and see all of that as well. Now, I'm going to do an example child registration. Now I'm going to click on this so that you can see what it's gonna look like. So this is our child registration, but I'm actually gonna switch over to a test program that I am running for Wandu Reader so that I can delete my test data at the end. So what we're gonna do is if you've never utilized Wandu Reader before, you're going to click join here, or you can also enter the family management portable portal from this website as well. But I, let's say I've never done Wandu Reader or my child hasn't done Wandu Reader before and I only have one and I just wanna register him or her for the program. So I would click join here. Now for this, we have different programs for different ages. So we're gonna say that my child's age is let's say nine and we're gonna submit and then we're going to enter in my child's data. Obviously, my child's name is not Kristen. Um, let's say my child's name is Amelia. And the last name is whoop, test. Obviously, I've used test before. Um, my email is going to be my work email. Whoops, helps if I spell correctly. And if anybody needs to get a hold of me, this is my work email. So there you go at libcube.net, username. So this is for Amelia, so it would be her username. Now, this is unique across Wandu Reader. So you may need a couple of tries to get it something that isn't already in the system. So I'm going to do Amelia, ah, Amelia test. It looks like I've used Amelia before. Um, and password, something super easy that you'll remember. And grade for Amelia, if she's nine, let's say she's in fourth grade in school. We have all, all of the Frasier schools in here, but if you're not going to a Frasier school, that's perfectly fine. You choose other school, or if you're homeschooled or going to a private school, that is perfectly fine. I'm gonna choose Salk Elementary. And we have one question. Did you participate in last year's reading program? If you did, wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us again. If you didn't, we're so excited to see you this year. So I'm going to say, no, we didn't participate last year. And I'm going to create the account. All right, now this is gonna drop me into my home page. So this is what, when you sign into Wandu Reader, this is going to be what you're gonna see. Obviously, it's not gonna say, 
you're in test mode because I am, so I can delete the data later. Um, but this is what you're going to see. The image may look different or the graphics may look slightly different depending on what program you're running but or program you're enrolled in, but it's basically the same thing. Up at the top of your page is your name as well as what program you're enrolled in, how many days you've read this summer, because we're tracking days. We're not tracking pages or time or any of that. We just want you to read, that's it. We just want you to enjoy reading, and if you can, every single day. And it, as long as you're reading for five minutes, that's all we're asking. And it can be anything that you want to read. It can be a magazine, it can be a book, it doesn't matter. And then obviously, this is us. We're Fraser Public Library. So let's say um, we want to log some reading. But first, let me orient you again to this home page. So if you scroll down, we have a log right here. We have add my goal. So I could have a personal goal. So let's say Amelia wants a personal goal this summer. She wants to read for 20 days. Her goal name is let's do summer goal. And we're going to do whoop, 20 days. All right, I'm gonna add 20 days for her personal summer reading goal. We also have a community reading goal. So we want someone to complete our community reading goal of 500 days. We want everybody to participate in that. We think that would be super cool. If you keep scrolling down, you'll notice on the right here events. So these are the events that are going to be occurring this summer. Additionally, there's challenges. So if you see this, this is a current challenge that is available to complete. In this case, Pirates and Princesses Storytime needs a secret code. So after this event, you would be given a secret code and you would type it in here to complete the challenge. There are other types of challenges too, and I'll address that in a little bit. So let's start by doing something super easy. Let us add a title of a book and log a day. Okay, so let's say Amelia reads. She's a nine-year-old, so let's see. Um, oh, Anne of... Anne of Green Gables. All right, let's say she read for one day. She hasn't finished the book, so I'm not going to click finish the book. You can also add a review of the book if you want to. So if you click add a review, you can enter in this um, review. I really like this main character. Exclamation point. And we're going to say that she really likes this book. All right. So we can submit this log. Let's say you don't want to add a review, just unclick this. It obviously doesn't have it selected at the beginning, so just don't worry about it if you don't want to add one. But I want to add a review, so I'm going to hit submit log. All of those reviews go to a librarian to look over, and then we will pick and choose the ones that should go up or shouldn't go up. For the most part, as long as they're um, okay language-wise, we'll probably put them up. And that means that everybody else on Wandu Reader can see them in this program so that you would be able to see all of that stuff. So I just submitted a log, Amelia did, for one day. Okay, that's awesome. And by submitting a log for one day, she earned an e-ticket to a large prize drawing, which is super cool. All right, now if we hit the view now, that takes us to our awards tab. So if you look up at the top, we have home, books, challenges, and awards. This is an award that she won. It is currently not redeemed. That would be something the librarian would have to do. And we will do that for you. So don't worry about that. If you want to, sometimes if it's an award or a challenge that you've won, you can print a certificate. And I will get to that as well in a little bit. But let's first explore these other tabs at the top. So we know what's on our home tab. Our home tab is all of the stuff that you just saw. Um, what is under books? Books is another way for you to log your reading. So you can log your reading through the books tab or the home tab. However, if you go on to the books tab, it can show you what books you've already read this summer. So let's say, um, we're still reading Anne of Green Gables. This is, this is a long book series. So I want to add a log 
for Anne of Green Gables. So it'll automatically fill in the book title in my log my reading section. And let's say we want to say, oh, we read for five days Anne of Green Gables. Okay. You can log up to 14 days at a time, though I don't recommend doing that. I would recommend going in more consistently than 14 days. It just makes it easier to remember to log your reading that way. All right, so we've now got another log added to our book, Anne of Green Gables. So we've got one day and five days, and if you go scroll up to the top, your total is now six days, which is pretty awesome. All right, so, and our personal goal has also updated with six days out of 20. Now let's go over to challenges. Our challenges tab will show us the different challenges that are available for us to complete. So we have the Pirates and Princesses Storytime Challenge, which is a code challenge. So you would need to attend one of these events in order to receive a special code so that you can type it in here and complete that challenge. But let's say, let's try Castle Construction. We're gonna have weekly challenges for every single program this summer. So Castle Construction is a weekly challenge. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create the best castle fort you can and post a picture. Well, uh, let's just post a picture anyway so that you can see what happens. So I'm just gonna post a picture that I happen to have on hand. We're gonna have that upload. It takes a little bit of time, don't mind it. And we're gonna complete this challenge. Challenge completed. All right, so for each challenge, it may be something as simple as posting an image or it could be, oh, something like just selecting that you did indeed do this. So congratulations, make sure to print out your certificate and share your awesome castle with everyone. So let's view the certificate that we earned. So if we go under my awards, see how it automatically generates my awards, you can click print certificate. And what that's going to do is it's going to pop open another tab for you and build a certificate with the image that the castle construction challenge had and Amelia's name. So it's personalized to Amelia, which it says, good job, Amelia. Um, you can print this, post it on your fridge, which was the place it, when I was a kid that all of our accomplishments went on was the fridge. Um, so the fridge has a special place in my heart. Anyway, so that is our certificate program. Now, if you notice, if we scroll back up at the top, it says one challenge completed. So it doesn't only track days, it tracks challenges as well. Now let's go back to our homepage and let's say we start a different book. Maybe we're kind of reading two books at the same time. I do this quite a bit. I'll start a book and then I will get kind of bored with it and I'll start another book and then I'll finish that book and go back to the first book. Yeah, I know I'm kind of weird, it's okay. So um, let's say we're reading Treasure Island. Now, this fill-in program, so this, um, the program that is generating the titles for you is only available for toddlers and children. And that is because most of the books that they're gonna be recommending or filling in for you are kids' books. So if you're an adult or anything, you're gonna to have to type in the rest of the title. It's not gonna fill in everything for you. But if you're a child or a toddler, it will automatically generate some responses for you. So let's do Treasure Island. And let's say we read for one day our Treasure Island and I'm gonna submit my log. All right, we've read one day. Obviously, that is a great goal. And for reading seven days, you're going to earn a free book. Now, what we're gonna recommend is anybody who earns a free book this summer, what you need to do is we're gonna have a big long list of all of the titles for the books that we have to give out. And we want you to choose a book from that list. Once you've chosen a book, go ahead and give us a call and let us know that you're redeeming a free book and we will grab that book for you and then you would do a normal curbside pickup at that point in time. So you would drive up to one of the curbside spots, you'd give us a call, let us know you're here, and then we would bring the book out to you. Then we'll update the spreadsheet or the worksheet, whatever we happen to choose, to reflect that that book is gone. So that will be up to date as much as we possibly can. 
if we don't have that book on hand, we'll give you a call back and let you know that we actually don't have that book anymore. But we're gonna try and keep everything as up to date as possible. This way that you still get to choose what book you would like, but we keep everybody safe, which is our big goal this summer is keeping everybody safe. All right, so we won that prize. Oh, looks like we also got a certificate as well with that because we read for seven days. We're going to say the Frog Prince is very proud of you. And you can print that certificate as well. Not only have we earned a free book, but we also got a chance to do the color competition. So I have a challenge for my kids and teens this summer. Whatever color you guys choose, I will dye my hair in September, okay? So you would actually go to this Google form and you had to choose for every seven days you read a color that you would like to see my hair dyed in September. And whatever color everybody chooses the most is what I'm gonna dye my hair. All right, so that is pretty much all of the things you need to know about our Wandu Reader. Now, the nice thing about Wandu Reader is that you can access it on your phone. Unfortunately, it isn't an app, so you can't download an app for Wandu Reader, but it is mobile friendly, which means that when you go to Chrome or whatever internet um, web page you happen to be using, you or you get the idea. It'll be Wandu Reader itself, which is wonderful. And it'll put you on the homepage like it normally would. And everything will be slightly more condensed, a little bit squished, but all of the bits and pieces will be there. Um, if you have any questions on how to utilize Wandu Reader, anything related to the new technology that we're doing this summer, please let us know. And we're more than happy to walk you through. Um, I've been playing with this program quite a bit, so I'm more than happy to walk you through it. So please let us know if you have any other questions, and we hope this makes it a little bit easier to keep track of your reading this summer and participate in our program. So we've got the challenge for, challenges for you guys. We've also got events that are gonna be happening that are live events on Zoom during the summer. We've got uh, tons of recommendations for books and a lot of fun prizes. So we hope you guys have a wonderful summer. Thanks so much for watching this really quick tutorial and let us know if you have any questions.